guys and welcome back to my channel so today i created this look over here so stay tuned to watch how i created this look so i'm going to be starting with my eyes i'm going to be going with my conceal the bright future in the shade number eight i don't remember the name of it it's kind of rubbed off i'm going to be using that to prime my eyes So I'm like so tired, I've been up so early. I had clients in the morning. And now I'm here finishing. Showered, now I'm recording. The grind do not and do not, does not stop. For transition, I'm going to be using the Carly Bible Pilot with the BH Pagani. I'm going to be using the first shade and the first and the third shade mixed together. I'm going to be going in with my Morphe brush number M44, M441. So I'm just going to be taking that in my transition. I'm just going into circular motion ever so slightly. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna recreate it with my own shades. So I'm gonna deepen it up by going in my ColourPop um, Element of Surprise in the. I'm gonna go in with this pinkish shade right there, mixing it with the brown shade. I'm going to be going in with Bedellium 776 brush and I'm going to be going in with the same palette, this red shade right there. And for that, I just want to be looking down and just focusing it right under that. Adding my brow bone because I want to be working with it. I'm gonna be oops, I'm gonna be damping it with my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray. I'm going back with the Carly Bible palette and I'm using that white highlighter, mixing it with like a pink highlighter. Don't mind my brows, I need to do them, but. I don't trust anyone doing my eyebrows anymore, so I just do them myself. Now I have a chance to just sit down and just do them. Going in, it's the Morphe 326. Yeah, 326. I'm mean, going in with a brown shade from Anastasia. I don't know what's the shade called. It's just like a very nice brown. A small detailing brush. And I'm kind of I'm gonna kind of create like a cut crease effect. You see that right? You see that right? I guess my finger touched the black shadow, so now I have it all on my face. I'm going to be taking a makeup wipe just to clean that off. Hmm. Playing me. It's playing me. I'm going to be going in with my Bedellium Tapered Brush 783. I'm going to be going in with the same brown shade. I'm just defining that. I'm blending it out. I'm going to be going in with my Morphe. The number actually rubbed off, but I know it's Morphe. I'm going to be going back with my concealer and just carving it out. 
been getting so bad lately due to my allergies, as I've been saying in like every video. If you hear someone getting angry, it's probably my little friend who's playing Fortnite. Glitter primer. We're going there. You hear you heard it here first. We're going there. Taking my market brush, first number. But uh, when, when I found out the name of it, I'll link it down. Do you guys hear him plus getting frustrated? Yeah, he got just lost. Did you lose babe? Yeah, I got killed. Oh, I think I'm going to do blue glitter. I am using the the dog. Oh, BH Cosmetics Blue Glitter in Mermaid Blue. So I'm going to go ahead and do the second eye off camera. I will be back right after it's done. And we're back. This is how it looks so far. So I'm thinking, I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I mean, if I want to do a white liner just to define it a little bit, or do I want to do silver glitter or maybe gold glitter? Let's try white. I'm not sure how this eyeliner is. I tried the black one, but I feel like the white one's not as pigmented. I like that. Doesn't look too bad. Not as fine as I wanted it, but you can work with it. Do I want to do a double liner? Do I want to do a double liner? Should I do it? Should I not? Should I do it? No, let's not. So I'm gonna start with my complexion. I'm gonna be going in with my Maybelline Fit Me and my Sephora foundation. Actually, I'm just gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. so dark compared to me but it matches my tan so I'm not mad oh and I had already gone and prepped my skin off camera I used the uh, Emberly's moisturizer and I used that as my primer as well because I love how it works as a primer Take it the same thing as I used earlier. Taking it all the way in under my nose. So I do get some redness there. Mm On my chin, bridge of my nose. And then my forehead.
setting my under eyes with the NYC translucent powder. Set my face with the Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 310. I'm going in with the Pure Bronze and Bright and then the Pure Sculpt. So for highlighter, I'm going to be going with MAC Soft. And gentle and lights up the page. Chin, keep it low. So far, blush, and you're going with the pretty vulgar blush. In with that purple shade I use on my what am I saying? My lid. Sorry, that pink shade. I like it like While I do my mascara, I'm gonna be using the double decker lash by Butter London. do my eyebrows off camera let me know in the comments let me know down in the comments <laughs> can't speak today no let me know i'm gonna do my oh, oh. i can't speak today can i i'm gonna be doing my brows off camera let me know down below if you guys want to see a brow tutorial on how i get my brows okay 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 honey um back Look at those brows. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, for lashes, I'm going to be using these Stardell lashes in the style 119. So, I'm going to add a little mascara to them. They're not dramatic enough. So for lip, I'm going to be doing the NYX Lingerie in Bedtime Flirt. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And here is the final look. Ooh, ooh, you guys see that blue? Ooh, I'm feeling blue. Da -na -na -na.